What's up YouTube? My name's Sean and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. Man, the acoustic guitar world has been long overdue for something brand new. Some people do some crazy stuff, but they don't make it traditional looking. It always has some crazy look. So let's try to do something a little different. The number one thing we want to do is we want to make it a little thinner. I've always hated the way they're real boxy. The next thing I want to do is I want to make it sound bigger. And I don't want to have to put 100 pieces of wood in it. So let's try something. For this little adventure, we're going to have to use some good old Florida pine. It's pretty cheap. It's kind of lightweight. Now this does feel like it's got some sap in it. Uh, I haven't cut it open yet, so I don't know. And I also don't know if it's going to work out got big grain in it could be splittable you know things like that but we'll go ahead and use this because we don't want to bang up any exotic woods just making a prototype but uh, before we can do any cutting we have to make a design so let's get on easel do it okay so it's pretty simple what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna use my outline here and we're gonna make it 16 inches and then we're gonna add a sound hole and then gonna have to carve it out. That looks pretty good, don't it? But now we gotta carve it out. So let's carve it out. We're just gonna hollow out this board. <laughs> we gotta have a spot for the bridge because uh, we're not gonna be doing like string through the body. And I'm gonna use an electric guitar bridge. One of my friends came over with one on his acoustic where the bridge had come up so he put an electric guitar bridge on it. It was awesome. It sounded great so I'm going to use one on this and see what happens. But uh, let's make a place for that here. That's pretty good. Now I was checking out Taylor's uh, V bracing. We're going to use something similar to that because it looks pretty good doesn't it? Check it out. But yeah let's try that. Something similar to that. Do that one, that Put one there, 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 and there. Maybe one there, one there. That looks pretty good. Now we'll dovetail the neck joint with the router, but we haven't got that far. We got to make a feasible body first. So let's cut this out and see what we got. Well. I'm going to spare you the CNC footage and all that of cutting this out because I can just tell you right now, this wood here is not going to cut it. It's just not going to. We're going to have to find something else. So let's see what we can come up with. So a quick trip to the local Home Depot. We came up with this Northeastern Pine. It's really light. I mean, this stuff is super lightweight. Uh, it's kiln dried. I think this is going to be a better bet. So let's try this out. Now, it might be possible that I've done lost my ever-loving mind. Let's see that guy. I'll put a neck on it and see if we got us an acoustic guitar. What do you think? You think that's going to sound like an acoustic? And for the neck, we're going to be using some of this killer flame maple for the fretboard. with ebony block inlays. And let's uh, use some purple heartwood for the neck itself. And watch the CNC cut the carve real quick.
right, so it's done, and it sounds killer. At least I think so anyway. Put some Grover tuners on it. Some elixirs. It's got an ivory nut. camera. There's no no microphone or nothing. I think it sounds really good. It's nice and bright. Now in hindsight, thinking about it, what would I have done differently? I would have went ahead and used some good mahogany or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I'd have knew that this design was going to work so well. Uh, in the beginning, if you remember, I said I wanted to, I wanted to make it thinner, and we did. It's considerably thinner. It's uh, just under three inches. Um, I wanted to make it sound bigger. I think it's pretty big sounding. <laughs> Sounding, right? Uh, the way that I achieved that in my mind is I made it a 25 and a half inch scale instead of the normal 24 and 3 quarter. Um, I really like this bridge. It's top load. Um, I can intonate the guitar real well. Sounds great. Uh, I think the reason they didn't use these uh, back in the day when they first started making acoustic guitars is because Electric guitars weren't made yet. <laughs> so these weren't thought of. I mean, that's what I think. I could be wrong. Tell me in the comments. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Get your video in. I'm going to give somebody a killer acoustic. But until then...